it was either last week or the week before that we discussed NASA successfully growing vegetables in space for the first time, hugely important for the viability of space exploration. Then news emerged that NASA was also trying to turn human waste into re reusable fuel in space. And Lewis, I think you'll be excited to know that the space agency has now taken things to a new level. NASA has been granted $200,000 a year, which is almost nothing, by the way, for a project to turn human feces into man made food. The project is called Synthetic Billy Billyage for recycling human waste into food, nutraceuticals, and materials, closing the loop for long term space travel. Mark Blenner from Clemson University is running the program. He says these early career researchers will provide fuel for NASA's innovation engine. Uh, a lot of double entendres there, I think, Lewis, that we could look into. This is already something that kind of exists in terms of fertilizers. And in the US, they're called biosolids. Vice has an interesting documentary about this. It's a nice way to smooth out the language, isn't it? Biosolids. Is it torture? No, it's enhanced interrogation techniques. Are those bribes? No, those are constitutionally protected political contributions. Uh, is this human feces? No, we're talking about biosolid fertilization. It definitely sounds better. I don't know what the code word will be, though, for the food derived from human waste. Yeah, uh, poop burgers, I guess, <laughs> as 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 they've been called on this planet uh, when other scientists have done it. This is great. Of course, you need to be able to recycle everything. Everything has to be put to a good use. And it, this is just the next step in the progression of things. And so it's good. You know, would I want to eat this food? I don't want to be the first, but, um, you know, let's see where it goes. For as long as humans have existed in sort of the modern era, we have been trying to figure out what to do with human waste. Right. And it's only logical that at some point we will see a huge step forward. And obviously, if all human waste were converted into either fuel fertilizer or food, this would drastically change so many things about the amount of 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 unusable human waste that's produced. No doubt. But it's also about making sure that those uh, solutions uh, can be used in places where there is no money, where there's a lot of poverty, where waste is an even bigger issue. So there has to be a way to make sure that gets done as well. Two other thoughts on this. Number one, if you want to look up something interesting, there are black soldier fly larvae which can already convert human feces into protein. So that's another interesting line of research that's going on. And number two, 200,000 bucks a year really just doesn't seem like very much. I don't know how you're going to do too much research on this for only 200 grand a year. But uh, we we look forward to seeing what comes of it.